Take two. How has the project changed me, is the question du jour. It's a very interesting question. That's a very important one. Um, I'm not necessarily the best person to answer it, but definitely I have changed over the past six months in doing this project. And it was a very small project on a day-to-day -day basis. It wasn't like I had to do huge things every day. It was just one small, short video each day for six months. Most of the time that involved me going outdoors and doing something. Um, but, you know, uh, like a, a wall is made of many small bricks over the course of six months, those small individual steps made, they added up to something quite significant. And I can feel that within myself, having kind of come to the end nearly of this whole thing. Um, it's hard to describe how I have changed. I know I have because I don't feel uh, the same way that I did before. Before, there, there was no future. And now I, I feel very much that there is a future. Um, a, lot of it has, a lot of that has to do with this filmmaking course I'm, I'm doing because that's filling my days at the moment. And that's like, um, that's what I'm focused on entirely. Uh, and that is something that has a, its own progression as moving forwards and is like, um, there's a sort of a sense of um, building towards an accomplishment, finishing the course, and then the opportunities that come out of having finished it, stuff like that. So I feel like that there's a lot of momentum right now. But even up to the point before that started, I felt that things had already changed for me because it was no longer really difficult on the whole to, to go out and do my thing every day. At the beginning of it, there were many days where I just couldn't get out the front door. Um, that gradually changed and faded away. Uh, I think it probably would have been better for me if I had stuck to walking every day rather than cycling, because cycling was definitely a shortcut that I kind of leaned into as the thing got on. But... Um, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm sort of connected back to life, and I really was not at the beginning of this, and I think the connection has has come through um, regular um, dedication to doing my one little thing every day, having the feedback from people who have watched the videos, seeing that people are watching them and they're getting likes and comments and things like that. Um, and hearing from friends who heard about it and then started watching and saying, oh my God, that's so like, it feels like I'm just hanging out with you and stuff like that. So um, I feel like uh, I'm sort of back in the land of the living. And I'm glad that it took a long time because that means it's really sunk in. This isn't some kind of overnight like um, moment, you know, of uh, enlightenment or something like this. This is a slow process built up like layers of sediment. Um, and I really feel like I've got my feet on more solid ground than I had at the beginning. At the beginning, there was nothing. It was just, I was in a morass. And now I feel like I'm on solid ground. Um, it can be very difficult to make a big change in life. And I think doing it in tiny increments every single day is probably the way that was going to work for me. I'm not saying it's the way that would work for everyone, but for me, I've tried, you know, big overhauls, overnight kind of things, suddenly changing everything. And I've always ended up just ended, ending up back where I started in one form or another eventually. But uh, because this has been slow and steady and continually in one direction, Sometimes, you know, it's one of those three steps forwards and one step back kind of things. But the net result was always in the same direction or in a forward direction, at least. Um, I think it was just because I decided to do it and then I was doing it publicly. 
making the videos, uploading them. If it was just me, kind of like, say I had decided to, I don't know, keep a journal or something like that, and every day I would write in the journal, and if one day I was just like, uh, go to bed and don't write it, no one's going to know, and, you know, I would just be the only one to know. And I've done things like that in the past, too. But because this was public, and I was able, I was prepared to have it look stupid and amateurish and, like, diluted and bad and just, like be kind of a dumb thing. I was prepared for that because I was so t sick of trying to be perfect at everything that I was never perfect at anything. So making 180 odd very imperfect videos from a very imperfect person has kind of liberated me in a sense from needing to produce things that are polished. Uh, you know, the videos themselves, you know, they're, they're just me talking and stuff like that. But you know, and people have been very kind in what they've said in the comments and stuff, and I believe that they are sincere in their kindness. But um, if I'm talking about how this whole project has changed me, it's not that I've become suddenly a really great YouTuber, video vlogger person. Like, I haven't. But what I have done is I've, pro I've, I've demonstrated to myself that I can do something consistently and um, and that it will and did make a change in how I felt about myself. Uh, it took away a lot of the sting of failure that I had been living with for years. And now I feel a little bit my own person, uh, a little bit less uh, somebody who might always be preoccupied with how my life looks in the eyes of others. Um, I'm a little bit uh, less concerned about that now and more concerned about carrying on forward in my flawed path, doing my thing and maybe making some interesting content with the filmmaking course and after that's done and everything like that, you know, do some other film work, whatever. Uh, or if I'm like blinded by an exploding kettle or something like that and can't work in film, I'll do something else, you know. Um, I would turn to writing or something. But... Uh, so in summary, the, the, first of all, it has changed me doing these 180 odd videos has changed me for the better without any reservation. I say that, um, and I think it's because it was tiny steps every single day. Didn't miss a day. Even if I put up a video saying there is no video that was still like I did something, so every single, there are 180 layers of sediment that I'm now standing on, which is just enough to get me moving to the next phase of my life. So with that, I'd like to thank you again for watching, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with the next installment in the week-long retrospective on Webster's six months of changing his life, doing the 180. Thanks for watching. All right, time recorder off. Video off.